Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 9. We're gonna head back into the palace and chase after a lizard like we're some four-year-old boy. Chasing lizards was fun growing up. I remember catching a fair amount of salamanders in my day, which were not very common, so it was awesome to find one. But we used to catch grasshoppers in little paper cups and everything. Oh, how childhood was fun. Riddell, what are you, what are you doing? I'm I sorry, my kitty cat was causing trouble. Yes, we were right there when it happened. So let's go down into the well. Now, this is the plummeted depths down here, and... Turn to the left, there's no bucket here, even though there's some random well in there. I don't know why this random underground labyrinth is underneath the palace, but whatever. Um, if you evac out of here, you'll just end up in the bathing chamber, so if you want to come back through here, or, you know, save or whatever, you do have to have, to have some extra legwork to get in and out of here. I think it's snot coming out of their nose. Here we go. Why are these guys green? You're not doing a very good job blending in. Why would you need armor if you're dead? You know, that kind of hurt. Yeah, that's one down. Punch him in the face with your sword. Well, that did crap for damage. That was, um, that first, um, spear skill we had, I think. The one that attacks first, but, um, does crap damage. But enemies use it, they have different names, so. Finish smashing these pots over here. That guy, oh, that's a Meowgician pellet swap thingy. Alright, so we get a bunch of treasure chests and all this good crap in that area, this area. Sage's, oh, Sage's looks are wow. Um, the Urster is 90 MP. There's a ghost down here! Hi! What? Um, it takes a village to raise a child, you do know that, so apparently everyone else must have been a bastard to her to begin with. And she's an adult capable of making her own decisions. I say we stay to riot and throw her little ass out. Please don't be booby trapped. Yay! And now that we have the magic key, we can open these doors. Damn! Damn! Double damn! So we do have a small little area down here with a chest in it. And what's interesting about this area, it's just a dead body, is this place only spawns these zombies and these mummies and no other monsters. Which I think is kind of appropriate. So apparently there... I mean, you can't even, like, read the gravestones. It doesn't even, like, give you an action command and say, you know, just say, Oh, it's an old gravestone, you can't read or anything like that. It doesn't even say anything like that, which I find kind of awkward. I think it should say something. Alright. I'm having a very yawny day today. It comes in phases. Open the chest. What do we got? Enchanted stone with another alchemy ingredient. Whoops. Alright, continue on with this where we just came from. Uh, need to check down here for any treasure. These green slime guys. Actually, no, we do need to come down here because that's the only way to get back up. Because as you can see, the bridge here is... There's a treasure chest up there on the cliff there. I'm gonna shoot myself. No, 
not have seen one. Okay. Nope. All right. You would think they would put one up there, because they tend to like to put them in places where that are dead ends. But I guess not. I like how they have the little hub there. I wish the game gave a little bit more info about these little catacombs here. So I find it interesting. How can you be aggroed? You're not even on the same level as I am. Jeez. Of course the game knows, like, even though I can get close to him on the top of the screen, that... You know, I'm still outside his hitbox. My god, these are guys are aggroed like crazy. How do I get down? Oh, I have to go around this way. Yeah, more cheesy Yeah, magician thingies. I let oh, I meant to heal Josh. My down key kind of um, sticks a little bit sometimes, so that's why I keep making this mistake where uh I accidentally don't go down far enough. Well, one, well, one segment far enough down the menu. Well, now John could use some healing, so leave Josh alone. Please do not kill him. Well, that did some fair damage. Why did you attack last, Jake? Why? My warrior should be attacking last. Now you heal Josh. Well, that was crap, because the battle is now over. Yay! Treasure! I can't remember what that is. Hey, what am I doing? I want to do, uh, this. That totally looks like fake boobs on there. Totally. No, oh, are you kidding me? They should. Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding me? Please don't attack Josh. Please don't. Oh. This is why I think the game should give you, like, temporary invincibility once you get out of a battle or on a menu, just so this crap doesn't happen again. Because I think this is so unfair that the game does is I literally had no time to heal outside of that battle. So you see, when I first went for my equipment menu, there was no monster there. So the men you know, monsters should not be allowed to spawn and move while you're in the menus and therefore cannot see them. That should not be allowed, game. Or at the very least, if they are, have like, you know, a small protective zone where that sort of thing is prevented. Anyway, um, these mummies drop grubby bandages, which you will need a bunch of, um, if you're planning to complete your Alconomicon. Because they're needed for one ingredient, which is subsequently needed for other, um, alchemy stuff. So you're gonna need a bunch of them. Obviously they drop it and you, and you can steal it with half inch if you have a thief. Or have dabbled enough in a thief vocation where you have that passive skill. Move! Oh, great. Now I have to fight him. Wait, no. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, that's a stairway back up, but I forgot about this little beam over here. I don't know why this has this little wall here that's just kind of weird, but whatever. And no, you can't get around that side of that. Who built this thing so you have to go, like, all the way around everything to get anywhere? Like, literally, I had to go around the entire room just to get underneath, and then I have to go around the entire room again to get everything. Alright, let's open our blue chest over here. Just more alchemy stuff. Get away from me, man! 
chest in that corner? No, there is not. But we do have a chest in this corner. Which contains another mini metal! We need to turn a few more of those in. I don't know why this staircase up to that exists. There's no point. But as soon as we're finished with the plot here, we will turn some of them in. And we get a magic shield! Alright! Um, uh, where my shield? Okay. I might want to give that to... Um, do I want to give that to Jake, or do I want to give that to Josh? I'm gonna give that to Josh, because his defense really, really sucks, so I think he'll benefit from it more. Doesn't he look so pretty? Now his shield matches his hair. Look at that! Look at that! There's three of them up there! I demand you give me my fruit back. And I demand you apologize for shoving it in my face. And then saying, screw you. Yeah, she's right over there. Now, how are we? Um, I'm gonna do a heal lull. I am actually gonna fight the boss in this episode rather than uh, come back. Like I do at the beginning of the other episode, because we're only a few minutes in, and this is a very short dungeon, as you can see, so... And... You're not even... What? You're not even, like, tied up or anything like that. Why don't you just run? Maybe he just wants the bow taken off. Okay, this is really getting creepy. Well, you ate it anyway. Well, why didn't you eat it? You know, why didn't you take it in your jaws when you ran off and just munch on it? But you are a mortal already. You didn't need to eat the fruit to do that. I think you were cuter as a little guy, but with teeth like that, I don't think I'm in the mood to argue. He was a mortal to begin with! I want that fruit back. Can you poop it out, please? You're a mortal lizard. You have always been a mortal lizard. Now you are a freaky mortal lizard. Get this through your head, little guy. Well, now you're a big guy. Red lizard! Alright, this guy, despite being technically a lizard, is actually part of the dragon family. So dragon slash does work, but no, we're gonna falcon slash this guy. And use our usual tactics of, um... Actually... I think at level 25, Josh learned Kazap, I think. I think I learned that off screen, which is basically Sap, but, um, is. attacks a group of enemies, so. Um, no, I'm just gonna tackle Jake. So, yeah, it's pretty much, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing as Sap, only it attacks a group of enemies, so, other than that, it's no different. It doesn't have any higher chances of success or anything like that, so. And this guy can do this to you. Renders you inactive for a turn. And we need to accelerate to get my speed up to faster than he is. Well, my agility, sorry. And then we can start decreasing his defense. Um, he does have a weakness to, I think, light and dark, I think it is. And, uh, um, ice will also work, but it's not quite as, as effective. But since we don't really have much of those spells, I'm more worried about my attacking instead. So we're going to lower his defense and focus more on that. Please work. Damn it. I did not check my his resistance to that spell. Oh, of course.
Porsche. Strick my... My major attacker with that, which really sucks. Kick him in the belly. Make him poop that fig out. Damn it! Ow! Oh my god, that hurt! Oh, uh, he doesn't do that attack often. That's actually his strongest attack. I'm gonna just show off Dragon Slash just to show you that, um... The Falcon Slash is indeed better. Damn it! Oh, come on! Makes boss fights go so much he elevated to back up there. Wow, that actually did do about the same amount of damage. Okay. Usually Falcon Slash is better. Why do I keep doing that? My mage is in my third my third position, not my second. He hasn't hit Josh once. Wow. Will you lower his, his defense, please? I think if I had his defense lowered, I think Packet Slash would be doing more. Oh, can't be doing that. No abilities, you idiot. Please work this time. I'm going to heal myself. John would be doing more damage, but that's the price I pay for attacking with my bare hands. Please work! Oh! You are such a meanie pi- You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, you are gonna die now, you asshole. Alright, now we can show off Zang. It only has a 50% chance of working, so... And obviously, I'm not going to get as much experience for this, depending on work, how many um, turns I've spent dead. Alright, that worked. Please don't kill me again. Good. Um, now I'm going to Dragon Slash. And then mid heal, and I should be okay. Yeah! And how much you want to bet John's gonna die on the next turn? Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Oh, oh my god, you guys just saw that, right? Oh, for the love of crap! Are you serial game? You should be dead soon. This next turn is probably gonna kill him. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. Because my character's hitting him for a thousand a turn, oh, sorry, a hundred a turn, and he's got a little under 1300 HP. That's like the eighth time I've used an attack. Kill him. Thank you! Alright, that was a little harder than I thought. And at least he gives us something decent, a dragon scale. Which is an alchemy ingredient. They're like all alchemy ingredients in this game. Hey, hey, lie back down on the floor. Okay, back where you were, soldier. Back where you were. But you're a dragon who breathes fire. I mean, as long as you don't kill anybody with it, that's actually kind of cool. See, the girl you fired is the one who's most loyal to you. Don't you feel like a jerk now, Missy? If you care so damn much about her, why don't you be her friend? If you're ashamed of your selfishness, then why do you consider to keep, keep, uh, keep on acting that way? Oh. He's 
scratching his head. No, if only you could see your mistress is a bitch. Yeah, see? Yeah. He's gonna poop it out for us, even though he only ate a single slice of it and not the whole thing. So apparently this means the figs have regenerative powers. You know I'm a Celestrian. And he's back in his cute little form. Oh. Hooray! Dude. He ate a piece of fruit, became a giant monster, Kidnapped you, dragged you down here, confessed his love for you, scared the crap out of you, now just pooped out a golden fig and transformed back to himself, and you're gonna pretend like none of this ever happened. Lady, you have issues. <laughs> it's not gonna be wrong, I'm sure she's glad to, you know, she's probably glad he's back to normal, but she, just total, she was just totally nonchalant in her dialogue there. It's like, oh, there you are, as if, you know, when they found him, you know, like last episode, instead of doing this whole triad with the give me the back the fig thing, it's like none of this ever, none of the last 20 minutes ever happened. Um, no, I didn't risk my life for you. I came to get this shiny golden fruit that I don't want people to eat. Yes, people are so mean to me, so let's be mean back. Well, you can start by turning off this waterfall and giving the people back their water. Eh, yeah, she doesn't say anything different, so... Does he say anything? No. Dude, it's been like five minutes. Dude, it's been five minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And unfortunately, you cannot evac out, because this is a town building place, you cannot evac out of here. Which is kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, that is all for this episode. Um, obviously I'm going to heal up off screen and everything like that. And then next time, uh, we have some minor side related business to take care of and I just totally walked into the wrong building. So thank you. Look, I'm walking on the F. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.